Hello YouTube, we are going to show you how to set up your Rider 530 including add device UUID to your Brighton app account, Strava Auto Sync, and how to perform data sync. You can see the QR code on the left side of the inside packing sleeve. This is what you are going to scan with using any QR code scanner on your phone. Usually your phone captures it pretty quickly. And by clicking on URL button, it takes you directly to the download page. There are links for your iOS device if you're using an iPhone, and there is also a download link for your Android phones. Today we are going to use iOS phones for example. After clicking on the iOS download link, you will be sent into the App Store. You can see some information about the app are presented here. Here is the download link. What you can also do is to simply go into a store on your phone and search for Brighton. But do make sure you choose the new Brighton application. You can download it by clicking here. Now click on the Brighton app icon to enter the app. You will be taken to your login page first. In this case, since you are new to the app, we want to click on the sign up icon on the upper right corner. You can enter your email to apply for a new Brighton account. Please remember, this new Brighton app is not compatible with either BrightonSports.com or the old Brighton Sports app. After you finish your username and password, there is a check box down below. And by clicking it, I already have a Brighton account and will have Brighton to transfer it. And the message box pops out to remind you to enter the same email address you use in your old Brighton Sports account if you want to transfer all your Brighton Sports tracks. We are creating a new account today, so we are going to uncheck it. Click Sign Up to finish. Once you enter the app, the app automatically checks to see if you have any device you already added to your account. If no, a page pops up to help you add your device to your account. You can proceed by clicking on Scan Now. Before scanning, we are going to show you where you can find the QR codes for UID scan. First is the same one we use for downloading Brighton application. The UID is on your box. The second one is in your device. You turn on your device and go to settings. And then go to UUID. You will also see a QR code inside. You can also scan this QR code to add device to your account. Now we can click on the Scan Now icon and scan a QR code on the box. This should work pretty fast. When it's finished, there's a successfully added message on the top. And you can see it in the device list. The device has been added to your device list. You can also confirm it to see if this is the correct UID by checking the 16-digit UID number on the box or on the back of your device. If you accidentally skip the first page, you can also go to User Settings and then UID to manage your device. We are going to remove the UID we just added now and add it back to my device again. So by clicking on the red minus button, you can remove it from your list. Then you go to upper right corner, click on the plus icon. You will be able to go into the scan page again. Now scan UID in a box. Successfully added. Now we remove the account first to tell you how to use menu input. You can also add a device using menu input. Just make sure you type in a correct 16 digit UID. Otherwise, your Brighton account will be syncing with the wrong Brighton device. Now the UID has been added to your device. Let's move to Strava Auto Sync. After adding device to your Brighton account, if you have a Strava account and you would like to transfer your tracks to Strava as well, you want to enable this feature to make sure the transfer a lot easier. Go to Settings, Strava Auto Sync. It's important to know only the tracks uploaded after it is set up will be synced to Strava. After switching the button on the top, you will be directed to a Strava login page. Do your usual login. Then click Authorize to complete the process. Now you're connected to Strava. 
Now you can go for a ride. Just go to the main menu and select cycling. Now we can learn how to do data sync, but firstly we need to set up a new network connection. Go to settings and you scroll all the way to the bottom and you will find network and then choose connect. You will receive a list of available Wi-Fi connections. Choose one from the list. It can be a hotspot sharing from home Wi-Fi network or from your smartphone. In this example, we are connecting to Sabido, which is one that's available in this area. Once you click on the connection, you will be asked for the password. This is icon to exit the setup, and this icon is to confirm password. Choose this 123 icon to switch your keyboard numbers. Once you finish entering the password, you are good to go. Now let's go to data sync. We already have a track and device and we want to sync it to your brand account via Wi-Fi. Select data sync from the main menu and your device will start connecting to your present Wi-Fi connection, which is Sabido here. By a press of a button, it will automatically sync tracks to Brighton server. After the sync, you will see a summary giving you information about what's uploaded and downloaded. So now we can go to view history on your device to see if the same track is uploaded to your application. You can easily scroll through summary, detailed numbers of your track, lab information, and in-depth analysis on Brighton application. Let's take a look at the Strava application. The same track seamlessly synced to the Strava with no delay at all. Pretty fast. And basically you can also scroll through some analysis here including uh, elevation, speed, and heart rate. Okay, that's it. This wraps up all three major questions the most users are confused about. First is how to add UID to your brand account, how to set up Strava Auto Sync, and how to perform data sync. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it helpful. You can leave questions down below in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them for you.